Hi everybody and welcome. So today I'm going to do a bit of a um, comparison between the Erin Condren and the Whistle and Birch. So there's, um, there is actually quite a bit of difference, but before I start with the differences, I will explain what I'm actually using these planners for this year. So this is my main planner, my Whistle and Birch. Uh, it is going to be my everyday planner for everything. This is for my, um, social media and PR tracking uh, and I purchased this just um, recently this was a complete um, this was a complete impulse buy but I'm I got a really good deal on it so I'm but I have haven't actually regretted my purchase at all because it is exciting like who doesn't want to Erin Condon right so anyways I got a I was talking about, I was thinking to myself, when, before I actually owned an Erin Condren, I'm like, what's the difference? Like, seriously, like, yeah. when buying kits and things like that, like, what, what is there to look for? Why choose a Whistle and Birch over an Erin Condren? Well, one, Whistle and Birch is, a, um, is Australian made. Uh, Stephanie owns her own, um, has a, a business on Etsy. I'll put her link in below. She, these are, so for one, there's less weight and less cost because with Erin Condren, you have to buy them from America and the shipping cost is really expensive. Whereas with Wisdom Birch, it's not, shipping to Australia is like, it's just within Australia. So it like cost me like $13 express shipping, like seriously. Um, and you can customize it. So with the Whistle and Birch, you can get, you can choose your cover and it's got this frosted clear cover and then this cardboard custom cover on the front and uh, you get your name and the, whatever picture you want. And then you can choose the coil size. So you can have a small coil size or a large coil size. I chose to get the large coil size and you can also upgrade to get the Australian Public Holidays, which is here. So, which I did, I upgraded to the Australian Public Holidays because it is really handy to have in a planner, I think. I think that's um, especially, um, it's just like a go-to. I always am on Google um, trying to look for the holidays. I don't have to anymore because they're in front of my planner. So it's really good for future planning. So we'll get stuck into comparing the sizes. So I'll try and do this the best as I possibly can with the room I actually have. So I will do a lot of um, half flipping and things like that. So we'll go to the uh, first page. So as you open up the planner, the first page that you see in the Whistle and Birch is this and the first page which has got like a type of um, trace paper type, oh, it's like a see-through rough paper over the, um, over the top and this is what you see on the second page. So that's the first page you can see through to the bottom it's like this really pretty border so and then you go into the second page so this is the second page in my whistle and birch it's got the dash the yearly dashboard and also the australian public holidays the first page other than the title page is this in the erin condren so you have Sorry about that. Um, so you have success means having the courage to become. And then on the other page, the person believe um, you believe you want you were meant to be. Sorry about that. I couldn't actually read properly. And then on the third page, you have both of the same views. So this is the Erin um, Condren year to view. I actually much prefer the Whistle and Birch year to view. So with the Whistle and Birch you have the lines underneath where you can put birthdays. I love that actually. Um, 
I really do. The page sizes are exactly the same. They're both 18 centimeters wide. I forgot to um, measure the length. They are, the Whistle and Birch is 23 centimeters long. I'm pretty sure the Aaron Condren is the same, but I will just double check to make sure. Actually, the Aaron Condren is slightly a little bit smaller. It's just over 22 centimeters long. So the Aaron Condren is, I mean, the Whistle and Birch is slightly a little bit longer. So I actually prefer this compared to the Whistlin, um, to the Erin Condren because you can only use the blackout stickers basically for this year to view. And I think this is a great way to keep track of birthdays and things like that as well. So now we'll go to the next page. And this is the new beginnings and focus and mindset. So it's new beginnings, mindset, new focus, new start, new intentions and new results. So basically this is your goals pages. So the Whistle and Birch, um, with the Whistle and Birch, you have your yearly dashboard here. So the yearly dashboard is on the actual second page. So, um, and that's what their, the Whistle and Birch's um, goals page looks like. And then, sorry, then you go to the a notes page and it starts for the month. Where the Whistle and, with Erin Condren, you have the goals pages there and then you go to the next um to the month start so the differences the tabs i actually much prefer the whistle and birch tabs to the erin condren i know you can buy replacement tabs for these which i will probably do so because they're quite ugly uh compared to how beautiful and colorful the whistle and birches are i love how she's also customized the summer bucket list here i think that's a really clever idea i love that the whistle and birch i like the fact i mean sorry the erin condren i like the fact that she's done and um, they have done um a a quote or a um and things like that on the monthly pages so this one says a passion and a purpose Give, um, give you progress, January 2020. The paper. Um, the This paper, it's hard to explain the type of paper in the Erin Condren. We don't really have this paper in Australia that I know of. It, this is Mohawk paper. It's actually made in a mill in Upper New York, I believe. Um, it's very thick. You can still see through the paper, but it's a lot thicker. With the Whistle and Birch, these papers just um, a normal 110 GSM. You can get it upgraded to 100. You can upgrade the paper thickness, I believe. But I don't think there is really a need to. And plus, that will also increase the thickness of the planner overall as well. So then we go to the beginning. So this is the Whistle and, I mean the Erin Condren's first January month. They have a, da, um, a dot section, dot grid section there where you can, um, I love the dot grid. I actually really love it. I wanted it in my um, planner, but um, Stephanie um, made a mistake and didn't do it. So I actually, um, she sent me um, the loose pages to be able to put them in myself if I want to. And then you got the birthday section here, the monthly goals, and just for whatever else you want in a, a little drop scribble page here. And this is what you get with the Whistle and Birch. So you have your birthdays, your monthly gratitude, you've got three goals, um, your things to do this month, things to remember this month, your habit trackers, and then you've got a um, base, a public holidays and events. And then you've got these three boxes here, which you could do whatever you want with your top priorities for the month and your top and your main buys for the month. Like for example, in January this month for me, it will be buy school books, buy school uniforms, and everything pretty much to do with schooling is basically going to go in there. So then the next. 
pages. So this is the monthly view. And this is where it gets different to what um, to... I've already decorated my January in my Whistle and Birch. So the Whistle and Birch's um, sidebar is on the opposite side to what the Erin Condren's are. So the Erin Condren sidebar is on your right hand side. The Whistle and Birch's is on your left hand side like the Happy Planner. So then also with the Erin Condren's they've got overseas holidays as well which Chinese New Year it's kind of a cool thing to think remember anyways but um, so when you're thinking about decorating and buying kits I haven't yet this is a happy and this is a happy planner classic kit so I haven't actually tried Erin Condren kit but I have bought a couple to try in my Whistler Birch as well so this is they're pretty much exactly the same except the lines are a lot darker in the Erin Condren. I'll give you a month that's actually, I haven't decorated in my Whistling Birch so you can see the difference. So as you can see, the lines, these I find, I feel that the Whistling Birch is easier to decorate, would be easier to decorate than the Erin Condren due to the lighter lines I, and I do like the fact that Saturday Sunday is a little bit darker it stands out more and as a family we do a lot more on Saturday Sunday so it's actually really nice and also another thing that I just realized is um, the Erin Condren is a Sunday start I'm a Monday start girl so I I will be definitely changing that when I decorate my planner. I love the fact that the Whistle and Birches are a Monday start too. So we'll go to the, um, to the first week in January. So this is the Erin Condren. It's basically um, has up the top like the different holidays as well. So we have Hanukkah ends, which doesn't, um, it doesn't actually, it's not really relevant to Australia, New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. So once again, the, paint, the, the lines are darker. The sidebar, I'll talk about this. These, the weeks are a Monday start, which is great. I actually find that really good but now I'm moving this across so you can still see sorry um, it's hard to juggle two planners and then we've got the sidebars on the same side this um, once again is quite nice but it'd be harder to cover because it's bright and colorful I to be honest again I think I like I prefer the um, Whistle and Birch over the Erin Condren. The paper is so much different. Like the paper feeling in the Erin Condren is so rough, whereas in the Whistle and Birch it's so smooth and soft. And I always go for soft, smooth paper, but I can't stop touching the Erin Condren paper. I've never felt like it like I never felt paper like that before. So and then the month, then they basically go on to the same. Like, so February, it's exactly the same as what January is. February in the Whistle and Birch, well, it has a new quote. And every, um, every new month has a quote. And it goes the same way. But I won't go through all of these because you can see these in my Whistle and Birch flip through. Um, so I won't go through all the months in my Whistle and Birch. But I will flip to the back now to show you what the back notes are like. So we'll go right to the back here and we'll go to the right to the back in my Whistle and Birch. So now we have, then with this, um, 
So we're going to the back of the planner now. So after December, it goes, sorry, I've got to go right to the end. So with the Whistle and Birch, you go into a perpetual section, which I decorated. Um, so you get your perpetual dashboard, I suppose. You can use this as a try, test to try it and fiddle around to see what you actually want to do and just have a bit of a play um, and try it out to see what you feel like for the following month. And then you've got the yearly a play, like a perpetual yearly one. And then you've got the 2021 um, calendar at the back, which I think is really cool. So with the back of the... Um, Aaron Conchin, you go straight to the notes and you get a bunch of, you get a couple of notes pages and then you get, also you get a couple of dot grid pages, well a few got dot grid pages, oh wow this is actually really cool, it's like a colouring in page so you can like do colouring in and scribbling and things like that um, and that's kind of cool too and then you get the keep in touch so you can have your important contacts so with the whistle and birch you have um the notes section and then a perpetual dashboard then you have a perpetual well this was not a perpetual calendar this is a January 2021 calendar and but I used it for December 19 um, but I didn't end up using it so then you go into your notes section and then you have your notes and this is where they did my um, dot grid instead of all through the planner she did it in the back in the notes section which is fine because I can just you do everything that I wanted to there and then you have a lot of dot sections there and then you have your and we'll go back to the Erin Condren's then you've got the 2021 yearly overview which is exactly the same as what they had in the whistle and birch and this one here it looks like the whistle and birch actually because it's got the little dot points there as well little checklist there to write down important events and this is the last one um and this is the last page before and this is the last page of um of the whistle and birch and then with the Aaron Condren you get lots of stickers so you can use throughout the planner which is really cool they're really nice stickers actually just really plain ones for the days where you don't want to do much then you go to the pockets at the back so you, with the Aaron Condren you get two pockets and then you have like a laminate because this um, the covers are laminate and then you get uh, like a, a blank section where you can write on and things like that. With the Whistle and Birch, you actually have two cardboard, you have one cardboard pocket, and then you have one, two clear sleeve pockets, which is really cool because they're like full length, so you can pop things in there. So I'll be pop. So at the moment, I have my stickers that I'll be using throughout the year in there. And this with the Aaron Condren, you get lots and lots of different freebies. You get all these like quotes and things like that. And like to and froms and um, and then those freebies. And then you also get a perpetual um, a perpetual calendar in there as well for the whole entire year, whenever you like it. So this is my um, my comparison between the both if I was to choose. I would choose a whistle and birch duly purely because it's Australian made and I just love the, my whistle and birch so much and if you're wondering where I got this really awesome um, um, page marker from I got it from um, LaBelle stickers and they're completely customized to fit a um, whistle and birch and you, she also makes them to cust, um, customize this to fit them um, with the whistle and birches as well. So I'll have the link um, listed below as well. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm hoping you have a lovely afternoon. Bye.